I'm fighting for your generation. You've been crushed with outsourcing, offshoring, and paper notes. Living in a world with the Gender 21, the Clergy Plan, and TVBS. If you want people to pay what you're worth, you need to produce. Let's go on a journey and succeed in the digital realm. Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about EDU and Gov links today. Now, because Google sees government and education sites as an authority and it's not too easy to get links from those sites because normally they're reputable organisations. If you are able to get links from these organisations, it is seen highly in Google's eyes. Of course, PageRank and other factors are quite important. What I'm going to quickly go through is the search operators that you can use. Now, I've already put one here already, so it's in URL, a 2.forum.edu, so that means all these sites here have those search operators coming up, as you can see me just highlighting right now. What I'm going to do is just open this second one up and we'll have a quick look at this site as it loads up. And as you can see, SEO Quake's working and it's just loading up all the details there. Now you can see this is a page rank 3 which is excellent to get a backlink. What you'd have to do is delve into these pages and find where you could leave a post. I'm not going to go into detail because I have covered that in earlier videos which you'll see. But what I will do is just go through other search operators that you can use. So for example, if you wanted to go for government site instead of education, you just put this in. So all I've done is simply change the extension.gov and as you can see there's a number of these sites coming up. There I've got the SEO Quake plugin working, so that's a page rank for NANA. So as you can see it's pretty easy to find some page rank there that you can comment. Now I'm just going to put in a few other variations. So instead of using forum, we could put here blog instead, which is very common in URLs. And just to outlaw a few negative blogs which we won't be able to get comments on, we could put a negative signal plus the keyword we do not want to see on the page. Anything with comments are closed is probably going to be something that we can't post or comment on so that's quite good and if we wanted to really delve down to it even more we could add something like this as well so that basically says in the URL if it's got blog.gov we want to see it and we don't want to see comments are closed but we do want to see add a comment so you know there's many variations you can do and you can experiment and you can piggyback of other people. So say for example if you find some good comments on this site over here, the username pops up a number of times, you can do a search on that username. So say for example the actual username on that blog that kept posting their name was like say elf45, it would bring up all the other blogs that they've actually commented on. Let's actually find an example of that. So let me just quickly change it back to how it was and see if we can quickly find something very quickly just before I end this video. Okay, so for example, say the name that we wanted to piggyback off was Jason Hertz and I would not pick that name particularly. The reason why is it's probably a little bit common. You want to find something a little bit unusual like the previous example like Elf45 where it's really not going to be many people with that same name where it's clearly a made up name. Anyway, we'll just quickly put this in just to see what will come up here. So we'll just add that in there. Okay, so he's only really commented on this one website. There might be other websites out, out there which aren't in. Do you want to find index pages because we need to get the link juice flowing to the website. Anyway, I think that sort of covers EDU and GovLinks. Thanks very much. I'll speak to you guys next time.